Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome into the stream. My name's Rob. Happy Thursday. We're almost to the end of the week, so we're getting there. We're almost to the weekend. I uh, hope everybody's had a good week so far. Uh, let's see, what was it? Tuesday night ends a Wednesday. I uh, spent several hours at the ER with my wife, so that was not fun, but everything's good now, so uh, didn't get a whole lot of sleep yesterday. <laughs> Uh, other than that, not a whole lot going on, just, uh, there goes my phone, sorry about that, turn that off real quick, but it's, uh, 7.30 on Thursday, and time for a scheduled MLB The Show stream, so let's have some fun, I think I'm gonna go in, I haven't really made up my mind yet, if I'm gonna do, I probably might go in and do some moments here just to do the Nike City Connect test. So we'll start with some of those. Uh, well, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Let's, let's go into the one you want to go to. All right. Three total bases, considering I like using Chaz Chisholm in on my uh, Diamond Dynasty squad. I think he's a pretty good one to start off with. Uh, no, I made the Marlins Nike City Connect uniform look good like Chaz Chisholm, so. Boy, I just cannot talk today. Jazz. Jazz. You know. Like the Utah Jazz. Or Jazz. The New Orleans restaurant that's here in KC area, so. Alright, Chisholm steps in against Strasburg for the Nationals. Just got to get three total bases. And there's a slow roll to short. That's not going to get the job done. So just trying to get my uh, get my bearings here, get a little practice before I start popping any games. So, and of course, this isn't helping right now. Swinging late at a fastball. Takes one in the dirt. Hey, I took a pitch. Woo! So. Hope everybody's having a good Thursday. Hope uh, the week's gone well for you so far. And that's a pop-up. And he catches it on the warning track. So it was a little bit more than a pop-up, but uh, it wasn't a good hit. So so the next time up with Chisholm. So I'm 0 for 2. Still haven't got any total bases yet. Need to get on base. And one way down at the ankles. Hey. Stop throwing at his bread. It's not nice. Fastball catches the outside corner. One and one. So what's been going on in the world? Oh yeah. Official baseball starts today. So you know I'm there for that. Unfortunately... Yeah, ooh. One hopper to the first baseman. He smothers it, tosses to Strasburg, who beats Chisholm to the base by a step. So, that was probably the best chance I've had of getting on base with him so far in this one. Hit it actually halfway decent that time, so. Gotta get my eyes going. Gotta get my eyes going. Misses with a fastball. Then I gotta get my... My brain going, and I gotta get my hands and eye coordination going, so it might be a while. I apologize for that. <laughs> so, but anyway, and the pitch that's a lazy fly ball to center. Center fielder is over and squeezes it for the out, so no total bases there. And it looks like Miami's getting shut out by Washington, so. Not exactly the most auspicious start. So we'll just restart it here real quick. And I can just practice my patience at the plate. But uh, I guess AEW is coming to town again. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass on this one. This one, we've been, I've been to the first two. Actually had really good seats the last time, but this time I'm going to have to pass. So. Since I'll be taking some time off just previous to that at work because uh got family coming up so slapped hard down the first baseline but foul 
That was one of my better swings so far on this little practice session. Slapped hard to short. Just late, but right to the shortstop. Slur, four same sinker, circle change. All right. Hey, I took another pitch. So, but like I said, AEW is supposed to be up here sometime in June. I guess the tickets go on sale relatively soon. Oh, he's back at the wall. He jumps. It's gone. Just had enough to get over the wall. And that completes it. So, hey, it only took me two tries. That's impressive. Usually it takes me much more. Especially, well, since I didn't have to try to hit a homer, I didn't have to try to hit a homer. Usually the ones where I have to try to hit a homer, they take a while for me. In the Diamond Dynasty. Yes, that's what I was doing. I don't know why it went all the way up. Single player modes. Let's go and start a. Yes, I want to exit the tutorial. I don't need a tutorial. I've already played one season of it. So let's see what we can do. Since you don't really need to play on hard levels for this, just pop in there. Uh, we'll start off with Chris Sale. And there's my lineup. Henderson, Chisholm, Edmonds, Bryant, Grandall, Trammell, Tucker, Crone, and Sale. And my bench, I've got Wander Franco, Tommy Edmond, George Brett, Babe Ruth, and Billy Williams. I probably should play Billy Williams, but... I'm still working on a lot of things with, uh... With a lot of things. There's a lot to do, so... Alright, well, there's a the lineup. We'll put... Williams in there for Tucker, and we'll probably wind up bringing in Tucker as a defensive replacement for Williams later in the game. All right. So let's see if the logos show up on the uniform this time. It's been a 50-50 proposition so far. It's looking good so far, though. I actually got it on the on the screen for that. There's the pinhead unis. I do like the I do like the numbers though. And yes, we do have the actually have it on the uni, so that's good. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Henderson against Gossman. And that's a pop up I should way under that. Well, that's not a good start to the game. So one pitch, one out. But I do like this mini seasons thing because I'm not big for playing online stuff against head to head. But... Oh, that's it hard out the law at the wall and gone as I cannot speak this morning, but a home run for Chisholm. And just like that, we've got a one nothing lead here in this mini seasons game. Fastball right down the pipe. Stayed back just enough to keep it fair, but it just kept drifting and drifting. The right fielder kept running and running, and it got over the wall. So it gives us a 66% win expectancy now. I can beat those odds. <laughs> Let's see the lines out the center. There's two outs. So I'm not exactly being very patient, so three hitters, three, three pitches, so... I really need to be more patient. Of course, when I try to be patient, I take one right down the middle. Case in point. That's all right. We need to not have a four pitch in it. So. Fastball misses outside. One and one now. Ooh, I think Gosman's with the Jays now, right? Robbie Ray went to Seattle. Will it drop? Will it drop? Will it drop? No, it'll drop right into the center fielder's glove. But we get a homer on Chisholm's solo shot. And the pinheads are up. Henderson, Edmonds, and Sandoval do up. So, I do like the pinheads uniform. It's pretty clean. All right. So, Chris Sale. First pitch to Ricky. Really need to keep him off base. 
you know, the all-time steal leader, and that's right up in the middle for base hit, and that's not how we wanted to start the game. So he'll start having madness on the base paths. First pitch to Edmonds, misses low, ball one. Uh, Got to keep on hit, keep an eye on Henderson over there. I know I've already stole like 20 bases with him already. So, and the game hasn't even been out a week. So, strike over the knees. It's one and two now. Let's see if we can get a a pop up or something here. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Jimmy Edmonds goes down on strikes. So that's one away for Pablo Sandoval. Send the floor. Da, 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 da. Yes, I've watched Karate Kid entirely too many times. Here comes the 1 0 to Pablo. There goes Ricky, and he's in there. Stolen base. So. 2 0 to Pablo. Misses inside. Ball three. Seeger on deck. And ball four. So it was, it was an unintentional, intentional walk there. So once it got up 2 0 and Ricky stole second, there's really no no sense in the set up a double play here. Lazy fly ball to the left. Billy Williams coming over. Catches it and throws it back into the shortstop. No advance by the runners. So two outs for Josh Donaldson, who was just traded to the Yankees this offseason by the Twins. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Two outs, two on, bottom of the first. First pitch from Sale. Fastball at the knees, strike one. And ah, yes, you've got to love the many seasons. Lack of stamina for pitching. Strike two on the slider, and it's 0-2. Here comes the 0-2 offering to Josh. Misses high with a fastball, 1-2. and two. Gets the sign from Grandall. Back up the middle, that's going to score a run. Little 42 hopper up the middle gets the job done, and this game is tied 1-1. Well, that's a bummer. But, you know, tis what it is. Well, I didn't get the shutout that I was looking for. And that brings up George Brett. Let's see if we can't minimize the damage here. Called strike at the knees. Here comes the 0-1 from Sale. Up the middle, Trammell's got it. Tosses to second for the force, and that retires the side. But the Pinheads tie the game on a single. To the second we go, knotted up at one. So, And Lucas Thames comes in for them. I need to get somebody up in the bullpen for us. Uh, let's see here. We'll, uh, we'll get Matt Barnes up. So, Grandall steps in against Lucas Sims. First pitch, fastball right down the middle. See? I try to be patient. They throw it right down the middle. All right, the 0 1. Slur misses outside. 1 and 1 now to the Knights backstop. Sims gets the pitch and delivers eventually. Fastball strike two. I'm just letting good pitches just go right in the strike zone. That's all right. Wasn't where I was looking, so. Ooh, that could have been called strike three, but it's two and two now. Counts even. Sims gets the sign. And the 2-2 pitch. Slap right back up the middle. Base hit for Grandall. Perfect swing. Always good to see those. Unfortunately, he's going to clog up the base paths now. As he is one of the slowest runners in Major League Baseball history. Slur just catches the inside corner, strike one. Not exactly what I was looking for there, but all right. Here comes the 0-1 delivery from Sims. 
Circle change misses way outside. Counts even now at one and one. Grandall takes his lead off first. Sims checks. And the pitch. Fly ball out to right center. It might, oh, it's going to drop. It bounces over the wall for a ground rule double. So second and third for Billy Williams. Got a chance to give us the lead here in the second. Our first mini seasons game of the day. And that slur missed way outside for ball one. The 1 0 pitch to the Cubs left fielder. Just over the inside corner. Even to count at 1 1. Oh, got a chance to give us a two run lead here if we can get a hit. Misses up high with a fastball. 2 and 1 now to the Cubs Hall of Famer. Fastball over the outside corner, even to count at two. And I just want to put a good swing on the ball here. Don't want to do too much. Back up the middle, that's going to score one. Oh, I forgot to change. Oh, I forgot to change the base running. I was messing around with the settings earlier, and I forgot to change the base running settings. Uh, put it back to default, not classic. All right. I'm going to have to apply, get the settings changed in my main settings, so. Forgot to do that. My fault. CJ Cron takes a pitch from Castillo for a call strike one. So we've got a 2-1 two, two lead here in the second. Still nobody out. First and third. For Cron, back up the middle, off of Lee Smith, or Lee Smith, Diego Castillo. So the runner third holds, but runner from first moves into scoring position. Now, if you look at Diego Castillo, he looks an awful lot like Lee Smith in that animation. <laughs> so, let's see here. We're going to go with... We're going to go with Babe Ruth because we still are doing the all-star homers. So, we'll see how, see how that works out here in the mini-seasons. All right. Ruth steps in. And swings at a sinker. Fouls it off. 0-1 to the Yankees Hall of Famer. Castillo checks the runners and the pitch. Fastball just misses high, even to count at 1-1. One and, one. and the 1-1 delivery just misses with the high sinker. Counts 2-1 now. Can we extend the lead? 1 hopper right to the first baseman. That is not going to do any good, and there's 2 away. That was not a good at bat. And that brings up Ricky Henderson who popped up, pop, pop, blah, 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 blah. easy for me to say, popped up on his first pitch he saw today. High sinker misses inside. 1-0 and to the A's legend. 2-1 here in the second. Slow roller to third. Taking his time. He gets Henderson by a and a half. So after all that, we just get one run to take the lead but it's two to one as we head to the bottom half so let's get old matt barnes in the ball game red Sox hurler working on that uh red Sox uh city connect mission so let's end the warm-up and it's going to be drew romo stepping in Never heard of it. Drew Romo. Never heard of it. The 0-1 delivery. Fouled off the fastball and it's 0-2. And he swings through a splitter. Strike three. One up, one down here in the bottom half. That brings up the babe. Swings and a fastball out of the zone. Steer right one. Knuckle curve. Popped up to center. Henderson lopes over. Medium deep center field and squeezes it for out number two. So two up, two down for Barnes here in the second. And that brings up the most recently traded A.J. Pollock. Got traded from the Dodgers to the White Sox. Here comes the first pitch to AJ. 
check swing no says the umpire ball one I thought that was a strike but obviously blue didn't fouls off a of fastball count evens at one and one oh, let's see here what was it uh, Austin Meadows got traded from the Rays to the Tigers the other day for uh, super prospect Isaac Paredes so we'll see how that works out I was surprised that Meadows got traded swings through a fastball strike two the one two delivery from Barnes on its way fouls off the fastball count stays one and two I will I will say I was really surprised they traded Meadows I did not see that coming at all Swings through a curveball, strike three, and that retires the side. So, to the top of the third we go. Chisholm, Edmonds, and Bryant do up for the Knights. And who's coming in? Drew Palmer is. All right. Solo home run for uh, Chisholm in the first. So, let's uh, get Brian Wilson up. All right. That 125 pitching clutch with Wilson is just ridiculous. Oh, he pops it up. Left fielder's coming over, and why didn't the center fielder come get it? But Ricky's like, I'll take that. So one pitch, one out here in the third. That brings up Jimmy Edmonds. Come on, get a hold of one, Jimmy. And not quite. Two pitches, two outs. <laughs> not very patient right now. Do have the lead, but not hitting very well. Despite what those numbers may show, I'm definitely not hitting well right now. Here comes the 2 1, or the 2 1. The first pitch to Chris Bryant. It's 2 to 1 the score. So 0 and 1 is a fastball, catches the outside corner. Slap to the right side, the first baseman knocks it down and tosses over the pitcher covering. That retires the side. So we're going to go to the bottom half of the third. Henderson, Edmonds, and Sandoval up for the pinheads. Can we hold on to this 2-1 lead? We'll find out, I guess. All right, so, all right, Matt, we're going to bring in Brian, put in the game, blah, 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 blah. And you can see how I've been pitching with him. We've got a point four eight ERA, 28 strikeouts to two walks. Finally got the average up to... 100 against righties, so that's uh, disappointing, but we'll have to work on that. <laughs> so. All right, four-seam cutter, slider, two-seam. So let's start him off with a four-seamer. That was not the best pitch because I put it right down the middle. 0-1 to the A's legend. Fouls off another fastball and it counts 0-2. All right, let's see if we can chase this slider. Yes, strike three. See you, Ricky. Forget about the curveball, Ricky. Give him the heater. If I must say, it was from Major Leagues. So, come on now. Here comes the first pitch to Edmonds. Fastball misses inside. 1-0. and To the Angels and Cardinals legend. He had one of the greatest catches of all time when he was playing for the for the Angels. Just fully extended away, going away from home plate. It was just ridiculous. If I'm not mistaken, it was against the Royals, and it was just like, how did he freaking catch that? You know, you've got you got Willie Mays' catch, you know, in the World Series where he makes the basket catch running away towards the center field wall, and. That one that Edmonds made fully extended diving towards the center field wall was just, my goodness, it was just insane. If you haven't ever seen it, Google it. You'll you'll be highly impressed. Slider just misses. Three and one to count. Don't really want to put the tying run on base here. Swings through a fastball. The count is full. All right, well, we'll get uh, Rob Dibble up. Cold strike three with a cutter. I wasn't real sure that was going to catch the zone, but it did, and that brings up Sandoval as the final hope for the pinheads here. 
in mini season opening day. First pitch to Pablo. Misses with a slider. Ball one. Here comes the 0-1 offering. Misses low. 2-0 and now. Don't really want to put him on. Oh, Edmonds has got a shot. He's got a shot. Can he get there? Yes, at the wall in foul territory to retire the side and get the win for the night. A 2-1 win. A little bit of a nail-biter here in the first game, especially on rookie level. But I, like I said, I never I never claim to be that good of a player. But I do like playing this game a lot, and it is fun. So, you know, we'll have our fun with it. Two runs, four hits, no errors for the Knights. One run, two hits, no errors for the Pinheads. Jazz Chisholm with a solo shot to get the uh, get the scoring started. There's some uh, there's that 99 hopper up the middle from Donaldson. RBI base hit for Williams and the final out with Edmonds over against the wall in foul territory. So that was a decent game. So. <sighs> Chisholm one for two, Trammell one for one. Knights win, Knights win, Knights win. Brian Wilson upgraded, so he's up to a two. Uh, we're about halfway to 16. Let's see, with the Red Sox, I'm a little over halfway there. The rest of them, not so much. Got a little bit done with uh, Billy Williams. Quarter of the way there with the Giants. Almost halfway with the Marlins. And about a third of the way there with uh, the White Sox. So, getting there slowly but slowly. Alright. So, game two with the Pinheads. Let's see what we can do here. Ba -ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. So... My name's Rob. Thanks for coming and checking out the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, just doing a little uh, mini seasons with MLB The Show 22. Trying not to bang my head against the wall too hard. So, uh, if you're new here, I've been streaming. Really trying to get more consistent with streaming. So, I love playing baseball. So, I figured that'd be a good way to just get after it with MLB The Show 22. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can find some uh, enjoyment with how poorly I play at times. So, you know, it's all right. Like I said, my online record is 0-3. I've played exactly three games this uh, ranked season. One of which was a freeze-off, and I was like, no, I'm not sticking around for that, so I'll take that. Another one was uh, gave up a solo shot in the ninth to lose one nothing. so that was a bummer. And another one, I just got my butt kicked, so... It is what it is. So it's 0-3. Actually, it was a 5-2 loss, but uh, the outcome was never really in doubt. So 1-0 pitch over the inside corner. Evens a count at 1-1 one one to Ricky. So a little more patient this game. Back up the middle. Base hit for Ricky. So that gives us a chance to get on and do some, uh, do some base stealing with the all-time steals leader. Chisholm steps in and immediately a throw over, checking on Ricky. All right. And the pitch. Fastball call strike, and Ricky steals it easily. 20 seconds stolen base since I've started using him. And considering he was the cover art guy that I chose. All right. Tag up. Go back. All right, I need to change that again. I, for, I forgot to change that while I was out, so all right. So we're going to have to change it for the game and then change it. Not classic, default. There we go. Apply changes. Remind me to change that when we get out of this game, would you please? Thank you. Slider just misses the outside corner ball one. The 1 0 to Edmonds. Slapped hard out in left center field. Henderson's running after it. 
He's got it in deep left center field, but that allows my Ricky to tag and go to third. So two outs, man on third for Chris Bryant here in the first. So, all right, Chris. Let's drive one in the gap somewhere. High slider. I didn't think it was going to catch the zone. All right. Another slider misses outside, even the count of one and one. Ryan Nelson, this will be his 10th pitch of the inning. Her ball misses low. Two and one now to Bryant. Really want to get a good, good hold of one here. Fastball misses inside, and it counts three and one with Grandall on deck. The three one offering from Nelson. Smashed hard out to deep center. It's off the wall. It's going to be two bases. And an RBI double for Bryant. And the Knights take the lead in the first again against the Penheads. Perfect, perfect swing. So, always love to see that. Fastball misses inside low. Ball one. Two outs. Man in scoring position for Grandall. Slider misses high and inside. Ball two. Here comes a 2-0 offering from Nelson. Just misses the inside corner, 3-0 with Trammell on deck. Bryant takes his lead. The 3-0 pitch to Grandall. Check swing, called strike over the inside corner. 3-1 now to the Knights backstop. Oh, he crushes one deep to right. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it is out of here. Wow, that one landed way up in the bleachers. 4.45 for Yasmani. Let's see a replay of that one. He knew he had it as soon as he hit it. And that ball landed way up in the seats. About three or four rows from the top of the stadium there. So, 3 nothing lead. Curveball drops in for a call strike one. The 0-1 delivery. Misses way inside with a fastball. Even to count at one and one to the Tiger shortstop. Curveball misses inside. Two and one now. Well, we got him up to 20 pitches this inning. High and inside with a slider. Counts three and one. Kyle Tucker on deck. Misses inside. Ball four. Hey, we took a walk. We took a walk. And that's going to be it for Nelson as Drew Pomeranz gets the call from the bullpen. Six five Southpaw are going to step in and try and stop the bleeding here with a three nothing lead for the Knights. Checks the runner at first and the pitch to Tucker. Fastball right down the pipe, called strike one. It's always nice to get three runs in the first. Pops it up. Lazy fly ball to center. And boy, that thing just drifted out there quite a ways. I thought it was going to be like a pop up to short center. But we get three with two of them coming on the massive 445 foot blast by Grand Dahl off of Ryan Nelson. And even the pitcher had to admire it. <laughs> so three nothing as we head to the bottom half of the inning. It's going to be Robbie Ray on the bump here. Just face the pinheads. The leadoff hitter, Ricky Henderson, steps in. And the first pitch from Robbie. Curveball in there for call strike one. Gets the sign from Yasmani. The 1-0 one, oh, one pitch is a ball. 1-1 one one now. 1-1 one, one offering. Swings through a fastball strike two. So what to do, what to do. He hasn't been able to catch up with a fastball yet, so I think we'll probably stay with that. Swings through a fastball, strike three, and that's one out here in the bottom half. So Ricky Henderson gets retired on strikes. That brings up Jimmy Edmonds. First pitch to Jim. Curveball swung through and missed, strike one. Trying to stay away from Edmonds' power. Pulled that fastball way foul, and it's 0 2 to the left handed hitting outfielder. And here comes the 0 2 delivery from Ray. 
Curveball fouled off down the left side. The 0-2 pitch. Oh, he hits him. That's not good. Lost a little bit of control. Uh, you can stare out there all you want, Jimmy. He wasn't trying to hit you. Especially not on an 0-2 count. I mean, come on now. First pitch to stand the ball. Swings through a fastball. Strike one. The 0-1 pitch. This is inside with a slider. 1-1 one one now to the three-hole hitting stand ball. Edmonds takes his lead off first. Ray gets a sign from Grandall. The 1-1 one one offering. Over to Cron. Out to second for one. Back to first. 3-6-3 three, three, double play, and that retires the side. So the hit batter does not come back to haunt Robbie Ray. Second inning we go. 8-9-1, due up for the Knights. Lucas Sims makes his second appearance of the series. And C.J. Crone steps in, batting a cool 372. First pitch from Sims to C.J. on its way. Fastball misses inside, ball one. Say the first few times I played with Crone, I wasn't real impressed with the swing, but uh, I've kind of been doing better here lately. Since that one misses high, 2 0. So I've got my first six faces of the franchise players. Oh, that's. Is it going to stay fair? Is it going to drop or is it going to go foul? It's going to go foul. 7.4 feet outside of the pole, just in case you wanted to know. Here comes a 2 1 pitch to Crone. Oh, and that one's, I was late on the fastball. That one was just right down the middle, and I was just super surprised. It was right down the middle. Counts even at two and two. But like I said, I wasn't wasn't real sure of his swing at first, but uh, that might drop or might drop into the, oh, it gets by him. And that's going to be extra bases. Can Chrome get to third? He's just now picking it up. He is going to make it around to third. So a triple, it was a base hit played into a triple right there. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, we'll bring in Billy Williams. So man on third, nobody out here in the second. Billy Williams steps in, pinch hitting for Robbie Ray, which means I need to get somebody up in the bullpen. Fastball over the inside corner, called strike one. Uh, let's see, we'll get Kendall Graveman up. He'll help with the White Sox City Connect Uni mission. So, yo, one delivery. Grounder to second. They look him back and throws out Williams. Now that I like. That's the first time I've seen him actually look a runner back. So, I do like that animation. Most of the times in previous iterations they didn't really even look the runner back that I never noticed but that was uh I did like that there so 0-1 to Henderson slapped hard but foul 0-2 to Ricky forget about the curveball Ricky give him the heater yes yes I know I already said that hey Lou how would you like to manage the Indians this year oh I don't know We've got a guy on the other line about some white walls. And the call is strike three. I thought that was lower than that. So. That was one of the best lines out of Major League when they called called Luke Brown and asked if he wanted to manage the Indians. Oh, I don't know. i got a call about on the other line about white walls. I'll have to call you back. Or when they called Taylor when he was down in Mexico. Tolberg, is that you? If you're going to call and do this, you should have at least said you were with the Yankees. I know entirely too many lines from that movie. Slider just misses outside as the check swing was not a called strike. Called strike, yeah, but the base is stolen and it's one and one Chisholm is at second in scoring position now with two outs, four Edmonds. A 1 1 offering. Slider just misses inside. 2 and 1 now. Chisholm takes his lead. Chafin checks. And the pitch. 
Just misses the inside corner with a slider. Three and one now. Chris Bryant lurking on deck. Oh, got on top of that one. First baseman takes it to the bag unassisted. But it's 4 nothing now as we head to the bottom half. Seeger, Donaldson, and Brett do up for the pinheads. Excuse me. My goodness. Had to sneeze, and that was not very... Uh, not very friendly to the ears, so I apologize if you heard that. I tried to hit the hit the mute button really quick, but all right. So let's uh, put Graveman in. Now, in uh, real life baseball, that might be considered pretty decent, but uh, on here, it's kind of mm. all right. So skip the warm up. Corey Seager steps in, batting three eighteen, over a thousand OPS. First pitch to Seeger from Graveman. Slap foul into the stands. Strike one. The 0 1 delivery. Fouls off the circle change, and it's 0 2 now to the cleanup man for the pinheads. Oh, pardon me. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouls off the slider. Count remains 0 2. Oh, goodness. The 0-2 offering swings through a sinker, strike three, and there's one out here in the second. Graveman gets his first K of the day, and that brings up Josh Donaldson. Slider misses low and away, ball one. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. Swings through a fastball, called, not a called strike, that was a swinging strike, you moron. <clears throat> the 1-1 one, one pitch to Donaldson. Sinker stays up and gets fouled off. Counts 1-2 and two now. I'm lucky that's all that happened to that. Because that thing stayed right down the middle. right, And he swings at one out of the zone for strike three. He must have been frustrated at that previous pitch. Because that thing was just... Came, came floating up there screaming, hit me. And old number five steps in, George Brett. With two outs here in the second. Slider catches the bottom of the zone. Called strike one. Fouls off the fastball and accounts 0-2. Graveman with a chance to shut down the side in order. Here comes the 0-2 pitch to the Royals legend. Slider misses inside. One and two. You know George Brett missed hitting 400 in 1980 by five hits. If he just had five more hits, he'd have hit 400 on the nose. That's just ridiculous. Slow roller to second. And gets Brett by a step. Brett always said he wanted his last at bat to be a slow roller to second so he could bust his butt down the line. He always played the game right. He always played it with hustle. He always played it with integrity. So... You know, you can say a lot of things about George, you know, with his temper, and there's been stories of how rude he can be with some some fans out in public, but you can never question his desire or ability on the, on the diamond. You know, if you were, you were lying. So, but Chris Bryant steps in to face Diego Castillo. You know, now... When I was growing up, I never heard all the stories about George and being rude and all. Oh, Chris Bryant got all of that one. A no doubter to center field, and this is a 5 nothing ball game. Boom, shakalaka. 462, as he was had no doubt on that one. But George Brett is and always will be my favorite Royal of all time, so... You know, he was my he was my boyhood hero growing up, so launch angle thirty three point four degrees. He just mashed that and that brings up Yasmani Grandal. And you have Castillo speed, you know, pitching with that 
perfect swing, and it's just going to go a long way. Sinker over for call strike one. Evens the count at one and one to Grandall. Slow roller to the right side. Short stops over at second and throws him out by several steps. One, one away here in the third. And that brings up Alan Trammell. Betting a cool 406. But, uh. <sighs> Slow roller to third. And comes Sandoval and across to get Trammell by a couple steps. Two outs. And that brings up Kyle Tucker, who flew out his first time up. 30 things to know for opening day. That ought to be an interesting article. Way out in front of that, for, for that slider, for a loud strike one. Base hit into right center. Right, center, yeah. Way to put those words together. English. That's my best language. That brings in Chad Green. Yankees right-hander. For the pinheads. See, do I have anybody up in the bullpen? No, I do not. So let's go ahead and get uh, Mariano up. Yeah, we'll just go with Mariano. Five nothing here in the third. Two outs. Man on first for C.J. Cron. Pitch out. Not sure why they're pitching out. We're up five. I'm not likely to steal, but whatever. Here comes the 1-0 pitch from Cron. Two Cron rather. Fastball misses outside. Two and zero. Green checks the runner at first. Gets the sign and delivers. Lazy fly ball, right fielder coming over and grabs it just before the foul line for the third out. So they get another run on the leadoff blast by Chris Bryant. Pinhead's final opportunity coming up, trailing by five. Let's see here. We're going to go ahead and do a mound visit. Go to the bullpen. Bring in, we're going to get uh, Brian Wilson warming up also. We're going to bring in Rivera. Just in case Rivera gets into trouble. Because as you can see, he has blown a couple saves. And this isn't even a save opportunity. But for whatever reason, I have not pitched all that great with Mariano. So the first pitch. Swings through a cutter, strike one to Drew Romo. Here comes the 0-1 offering. From the only man to ever get 100% on the uh, getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. Now, that's not to say other guys weren't worthy, but he's the only one who ever got 100% of the vote on getting into the Hall of Fame. You know, you're going to tell me Ty Cobb, George Brett, you know, Ken Griffey Jr. They weren't worthy of 100% of the vote. Yeah, okay. It's like all the, all the greats that have been in the Hall of Fame, and it took until Mariano Rivera to get 100% of the vote. Now, that's not saying he, was, he wasn't deserving of it. He was. He was a damn fine pitcher, but you got to tell me guys that got in, particularly the guys that got in first ballot. You know, tell me guys that get in first ballot weren't deserving of 100% of the vote. That tells me right there that the Baseball Writers Association of America have their little grudges that they like to say, oh no, I'm not voting for that guy. So don't, don't preach to me about the baseball writers. They've got their own little agendas. Babe Ruth steps in to face Mariano Rivera. A pair of Yankees legends here facing off. Only an MLB The Show. Called strike with the cutter. Mariano's signature pitch. The 0-1 fouls off a fastball. Counts 0-2. All right. Just missed with the cutter. 1-2. Pitcher getting tired. Six pitches. The pitcher's getting tired. 
That is one of the things that annoys me about this this mode. Fouled off, and that was a horrible pitch. Lucky it didn't go down the middle, to be quite honest. Swing and a miss, strike three. So, Rivera wins that battle of Yankee legends. And that brings up A.J. Pollock to pinch hit. The final chance here for the pinheads here in the third. He needs to get on to extend the game for the top of the lineup. First pitch to Pollock. Cutter over the outside corner called strike one. Rivera gets the sign from Grandall and delivers. Fastball misses up. Ball one. Evens a count at one and one. Here comes a one one offering. Slider swung through and missed. Strike two. Pinheads are down to their final strike here today. Here comes a one two pitch from Mariano. Swing and strike three. And that's the end of the ball game, boys and girls. That was a little better. A little more, uh, not quite as tight. <laughs> Five nothing win is, you know, a two one win is nothing to sneeze at, but five nothing is much better than two to one. So that early three run uh, explosion in the first settled things down right away, and we win five nothing, a no hitter. I don't consider three innings a no hitter, but you know, there's that grand all blast. You know, Brian had a blast. Grandall had a blast. So, you gotta love it. 2 0 in this little session of many seasons. Night twin, night twin, night twin. All right, he's upgraded to a parallel one. Making progress. Got a little bit more with. Oh, yeah, I pinch it with Williams. Getting there slowly but slowly. There's a parallel upgrade. Do, do, do. Halfway to two with Mariano. A little over two-thirds of the way to three with Ricky. Yasmani just got the one, so. There we go. There's the parallels. So do we do the next game? All right, we're going to jump out for just a second. I'm going to go back into programs. So we're up to, what, seven? But there's all the City Connect tasks. So we're 410 with the Dodgers, 550 with the Giants, 964 with the Marlins, 1331 with the Red Sox, 757 with the White Sox. All right, we'll go in here. We'll do this moment, Giants above the fog. Just kind of playing around with the uh, MLB the show, just kind of having a good time with it. Do, 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 do. So my name's Rob. Hope you're having a good day. Welcome into the stream. Uh, you can check out my check out my past uh, streams on uh, YouTube at 50 Plus KC Gaming. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is uh, if you have a chance, and this is doesn't benefit me in one way or the other in the slightest, uh, but it's a uh, it's a cause that's near and dear to me. It's the uh, Parkinson's Foundation. If you go to Parkinson's.org, uh, just look up some information, check it out, give if you feel if uh, if the feeling hits you, and uh, if not, that's cool too. But just uh, check it out, check out some of the information about one of the most insidious uh, diseases out there. It really is horrible. Uh, it takes a person's dignity and their ability to, you know, to be independent. Uh, so, and on that note, let's get back to the ball game. And he walks. That was a horrible at bat there. So, and I don't get any total basis for that because it's a walk. So, thanks a lot, Dustin May. That's one thing that I just don't like in these moments. <laughs> so. Why did I Yeah, I'm going to bunt. Not. 
That's going to be a four, six, three double play. So that was not good. All right. Let's see if we can't. I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing here at this moment. And a pop-up. Alright. Alright, I'm going to jump out of this for a second because I have no idea what I was doing. I was thinking I was going to just have to get total bases, so what am I doing? What are you doing? Yeah, that's what all you had to do is it two total bases. All right. Not playing so well today. So apparently I'm still uh, foggy from lack of sleep. So. But yeah, I had to spend several hours at the emergency room the other night. So I just still don't think I've got my sleep caught up yet. All right, face of the franchise. Let's see here. What are we up to here? Do, 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 do. We're almost to the next uh, next pack. We're almost up to level sixteen, so we'll get a we'll get a pack and fifteen hundred stubs. So it's all right. I think I'm up to about seventy seven thousand stubs right now. So I've been pretty much selling everything that I get, except for ones that I can't sell. So we'll see how that goes. See, and then, do, 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 do. And then we can get to choose who we want. So I did get Edmund in my first one. Still trying to decide if I want Brian Reynolds or Joey Votto. I think I'll probably take Brian Reynolds, to be honest, but... We'll see. That's still a ways off, so. Let's see, the AL Central. That's not the one I want to go to. The AL Central. I got Ben and Tindy to drop with the first one. So I'm probably going to take either Lou Bob. You can't go wrong with just about any of them in here, so this is just ridiculous. Casey Mize, you know, hits per nine could be better, but it's not bad. So, of course, you got old Byron Buxton over here, who just, for whatever reason, just does not look all that outstanding in this. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right, single player modes. Back in the mini seasons, we're gonna take on the cat. Well, we're still tied for first, so the whales and the lemurs both won their first series. So, gotta try and get some. Uh... Hit party, 20 hits, blah blah blah. All star series players, blah blah blah. 60 strikeouts in a season, beat at least five different teams. I do like that you can get, just keep doing this over and over and get stubs and XP. So, it's the offline, offline version of a ranked season, I guess. All right, so let's go in, do another mini seasons game been about an hour so far so we're not doing too bad so we're gonna be playing in Orioles Park let's change it up from October let's go to April and we'll go to partly cloudy see how it looks in there uh, Scott Casimir come on down you're the next contestant on pitching in many seasons alrighty so baseball officially starts today it would have started on Monday if they wouldn't have had the lockout. How about that? But at least it's here and it's going. 
I did not like the fact that they negotiated in Ghost Runners again. It's like, seriously, what are we in grade school? But it is what it is. So here we go. We do have the Knights. We're playing at home. I guess I could have picked a different stadium. Probably should have. But, but the first pitch to Roberto Clemente on its way from Casimir. Way up with a fastball, ball one. I've pitched pretty well with Casimir so far. Fastball or fastball? Yeah, that wasn't a very fastball. Might have been a fastball for me. And I can't even get it that fast, so. Change up over the outside corner, count even to one and one. Here comes a one one delivery to Roberto. Back up the middle, base hit for the Pirate Legend. So. Leadoff man is on for the Cats. And Albert Poole steps in. Man who's going to finish his career with the team that started, the Cardinals. And we'll see uh, how many more homers he can get. One of these at 679, I believe. Could become, could become one of three to have 700 homers. Joining Aaron and Bonds. I don't think A-Rod got the 700, I don't think. Either way, it's a very exclusive group, so. Swing, strike one. Here comes a 2-1 delivery to Albert. Swings through a changeup, strike two. I'm not going to throw him. I'm not going to throw him three straight changeups. Have you lost your dog on mine? The 2-2. Swings a slider in the dirt and strike three. Runner goes diving back to first as he cannot advance. So one out for Chase up. First pitch to Utley. Oh, that was... I wasn't even paying attention to the runner. And Roberto said, well, I'll take that. Strike one to Utley as Clemente now takes his lead off second. The 0 1 offering. Swings through a strike. Swings through a strike. Swings through a fastball for strike two. Here comes the 0 2 delivery to Utley. Wrapped foul past the first baseman. Count remains 0 and 2. And the pitch. Fouls off the changeup. All right. Here. Swings for a fastball, strike three, and there's two outs. And that brings up the cleanup man, Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas, the White Sox legend. Does all those, uh, what, what kind of commercials are they for uh, men's testosterone? I can't remember what the name of the product is, but first pitch to Frank. Fastball over the outside corner to knees. Called strike one. Yo, one offering. Back up the middle. That's going to score the run. RBI single for Frank. And the Cats are up one nothing here in the first. Did not think that was that bad of a pitch. Let's see where it was. Eh, left it out over the middle more than I wanted. Can't do that with Frankie. That brings up Gary Carter. Fouls it off. 0-1 oh, to the Etz, Etz, Mets and Expos backstop. My goodness, I cannot talk today. The 0-1 oh, delivery. Check swing called strike two. Here comes the 0-2 oh, pitch from Casimir trying to limit the damage. Fouled back. Count remains 0-2. Oh, 0-2 oh, offering. Swings through fastball and strike three, but Cats get the get the lead on the RBI single by Frank Thomas. Henderson, Chisholm, and Edmonds do up. And Jacob DeGrom, oh boy. That's all right. We can win this game. We can still win this game. Fastball down the middle, strike one, called. Four seam slider, circle change, curve, and two seam runner. So we'll see what happens. The 0-1. Swing, 
Slider misses high and away. Evens a count of one and one to the A's legend. Slapped hard into right field for a base hit. That's what we needed there. Lead off single for Ricky, which is almost a guaranteed double at this point. Circle change, misses low. Curveball misses low, 2 and 0. Fastball over the outside corner, 2 and 1. As a college shortstop and then a ninth round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this the 2 1 pitch. Slap hard into right field, and that's going to be a hit and run, and Ricky's going to make it over to third. First to third, nobody out here in the first. And Jimmy Edmonds steps in against the ground. Fastball misses up and in, 1-0. and oh. First and third, nobody out here for the night. Bottom half of the first. Slap hard into right for a base hit, and that's going to score Henderson. And station to station otherwise, and this game is tied one-to-one -one as Chris Bryant steps in after the RBI single, single by Jimmy Edmonds. First pitch, just catches the outside corner, called strike one. So nobody out here in the first. 1-1 one, one game. The pitch. Oh, that's going to be right to the shortstop. 6-4-3 double play, just what DeGrom needed. Runner gets over to third, but now there's two outs. Riazmani Grandal. The game is tied, though, which is what we really needed. We need to get the game tied after that top half RBI single by Frank Thomas. Oh, popped him up. And that's a lazy fly ball to center. So it could, they could have got more, but did get the game tied. Trout, Gibson, and Young coming up for Cairo. Mikey Trout, 12 homers on this team. My goodness. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon. You know what I would really like? And I don't know if they, well, they should be able to do it. They should reset the stats for the season. I think that would be cool. All right. The 0 1 pitch to Mike Trout. And 0 and 2 now to the Angels slugger. Go to pitch. Swings through a fastball, strike three. And four outs, four strikeouts for Casimir. So he's a. Uh, when they don't touch him, they don't touch him. First pitch to Kirk. Fouled off down the first baseline. Here comes the 0 1 pitch. Fouled off the slider, counts 0-2. Let's bust him inside with a fastball. Swing and a miss, strike three. Five strikeouts now for Casimir. Why do I have a sudden desire to listen to Led Zeppelin right now? First pitch to Michael Young. Swings through a sinker, strike one. Yeah. We need to get somebody up. We'll get Barnes up. Hopefully we can uh, get through Michael here and call it a day for Kazmir. Fouled off down the first baseline. Here comes the 0-2 offering. Fouls off the fastball. Count remains 0-2. Yes, I know he doesn't have any energy. I'm just trying to get through this batter. Slap down the left field line, drops just foul. Here comes the 0-2 pitch again. Slow roller to second, Chisholm gobbles it up, over to first for the out, and that retires the side. So it's going to be tra Trammell, Tucker, and Cron for the night here in the second. Tom Hankey coming in. Another guy that I just don't like to face, but got to do what you got to do. What's he got? Forcing fork ball and slider. Just look for something up to drive. 
And you got something up the drive. Put it in the gap. Oh, I forgot to change it. Just in there. All right. I keep forgetting to change those settings. All right, we're going to ignore that. We're going to go back to settings. Go to gameplay. We want default. Remind me to change that the next time I go out. Please. I'm begging you. <laughs> I keep forgetting to change it. All right. Man on second. Nobody out for Kyle Tucker. Just look for something up. Fastball misses low. Ball one. Just want to put something in the gap like the oh late on the fastball. Very late on the fastball. Here comes the 1-1 one, one delivery to Tucker. Just early down the first baseline. The count's 1-2. and two. Here comes a 1-2 pitch. Just gets a piece of the slider. Count remains 1-2. and two. Went to a contact swing there. Otherwise, I think I would have struck out. Here comes a 1-2 offering. This is high with a fastball. 2-2. Two and two. Making him work here. Checks the runner and the 2-2 pitch. Out in front of it and foul out of play. Got a lot of it. Just was early on the pitch. Checks the runner at second. The 2-2 pitch. Hard to first. Oh, that was a liner? I thought that, I thought that had one hop, but apparently it was a liner. Brings up C.J. Cron. Face Tom Hankey. First pitch. Misses low with a fastball. 1-0 for the 8-hole hitter. 8-hole, not A-hole. 8-hole. 8-8-8-8. That's out in the left center field gap, and that's going to score the run. As Cron's got himself an RBI double, maybe. He just does beat the throw. So that gets Hinky out of the ball game, and they bring in Jose Alvarado. That's probably the best little sequence I've ever had against Tom Hinky on this game. So take that for what it's worth. Maybe I'm getting better as a batter. Or maybe it was just a blind squirrel found a nut. Who knows? All right, so who do you use? Who do you use? Uh, let's use Tommy. Let's use Tommy Edmund. What the heck? We'll use a bird. We'll use a red bird. So we got an 88% win expectancy. It's 2-1 to one here in a second with one out. And on second. And he fouls off a curveball just early on that one. So checks the runner. The 0-1 pitch to Edmund. Slapped hard to right. Right fielder's going back. He jumps. It's off the wall. And the runner on second is not going to score because he couldn't tell if he was going to catch it or not. So we get a double. So two men in scoring position now for Ricky Henderson. All right. Settings, gameplay. We need to change that to high. Apply changes. All right. Because I could not tell if I was going to get over him or not. And that's going to help with uh, tagging up and whatnot. Fouled it off. Get out of play, please. Don't catch that. Don't run it. All right, well, two away. That brings up Jazz. I'm really going to be bummed if we don't score another run here. Slap hard to third, and we're not. Because we couldn't tell. We just left a run on the scoreboard. That's a bummer. Alright, we got Matt Barnes. That's a bummer. So I just uh, cost myself a run there. First pitch to Gwynn. That ball just misses inside. Ball one. Fastball catches the outside corner. Evens the count at 1-1. One 1-1 one. One, one offering. Splitter just misses. 2-1 to the Padres legend. 
Two one swung through a curveball and it counts even at two and two. Here comes a two two offering. Fouls it back. Count remains two and two. Barnes battling with Tony Gwynn up there. Swing and a miss, strike three. Missed the splitter. And there's one out here in the third. Let's see if the Knights can hang on for the win and move to 3 0 here in this mini season. First pitch to Ricky, or to Ricky, to Roberto Clemente. Getting used to the last game. Here comes a 1 0 to the Pirates legend. Misses high, 2 0 now. 2-0 offering to Clemente early on the curveball, foul and out of play. Counts 2-1 and one now. 2-1 pitch. Short into right. It's going to drop in front of Evans for a base hit for Clemente. So Clemente is 2-2 two for two today. That brings up Pools. Got a chance for a double play. Got to kind of... Circle. Okay, all right. What I thought it was. No one paying attention over there. Yeah, he shortened his lead up just a bit. Fastball misses up and in. Pujols. Clemente takes his lead off first. And the pitch. Called strike over the inside corner. Evens the count at 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one, one delivery. Curveball just misses for ball two. Alright. We're going to get somebody up in the pin. We're going to get Dibble up. And Wilson. Here comes... The two run, the two one delivery to Pujols. Fouls back a fastball and counts evens at two and two. Knuckle biting time here at Oriole Park at Camden Yards. The two two delivery. Swing and a miss, strike three, and there's two away here in the third. Big out there, get Pete Utley coming up. No a dangerous hitter in his own right. Struck him out his first time up. Clemente takes a big lead over at first. Trying to keep him close. Very short his lead by about a step. So that may be the difference that we need. First pitch to Utley. Fastball just misses the outside corner. The 0 1 pitch and 1 0 pitch. Did they keep him close enough? Yes, they got him down a third in the game. Nice play, Yasmani. Nice throw. And good job keeping him closer over there at first. So if we would have let him have that uh, one step bigger lead. He would have made that steal and he'd have been in scoring position. So, just shows you that paying attention to the base runners can come in handy. So, uh, two runs, six hits, no errors for the Knights. One run, three runs. One run, three hits, no errors for Cairo. Casimir gets a win. Hinky takes a loss. Barnes with his ninth save. And that was a, that was a fun game to play even if we were sitting there biting our nails at the end of it. So, let's see what we, any progress we made. Three quarters away to 16. Got a little bit with the Marlins, a little bit with the Red Sox. So we're about 70% done with uh, the Red Sox portion of the 
Nike Connect program. So we're getting there, slowly but slowly. And we're 3 0. Knights, Whales, and Lemurs, all 3 0 so far. Pinheads and Kaiju are both 0 3. So, I don't know, but I like playing mini seasons. It's just fun. It is. So, it is what it is. Alright, so we're going to go back into programs real quick just to check out where we're at. We're getting closer to the next, the, that next pack. Easy for me to say, right? Alright, so we're going to go into the movie players. We got. Sell him. Alright, you and market, boom, boom. Alright, sell him. Can't sell him. Can't sell him. starting second baseman for several games. <laughs> Mesa. Uh, can't sell Marino. Not going to sell Yasmani. Although I could get about 15k stubs for him if I did sell him. Wants to take out 10%. But I just can't bring myself to do it. Graveman, I'm still using him. So let's do sell Gavin Sheets. Put him on the market. Can't sell Mercedes. Dallas Keuchel. Get rid of anybody that I <clears throat> don't know why I'm doing it with the nine no, more. All right, marketplace, go to my orders, active orders. I need to cancel this because I'm all right, I do those. I don't want to be selling the ones in the central because I'm actually trying to actively collect the ones in the central. But instead, all right. oh, White Sox, Indians, Tigers, Royals, Twins. All right, so Astros. Anybody we got on the Astros? Put up for auction? No. Uh, we got three, but are any of them to sell? No. A's, nope, and yeah, I'm gonna put Nick Allen up. What? Oh, it must have had no cell on it. Moron. What a maroon! No cell. <laughs> Did I have Seth Lugo? No. I took him off my team, I thought. Manny Squad. Seriously? I, I cannot sell him, but whatever. Uh, well, let's...
No, he is still on this team because he is. Okay, all right. All right, well, we'll put, we'll say, we'll fix that, doggone it. <laughs> we'll fix that. All right, I can tell you now, you little. I forgot I had two lineups made. Who knew? Right hand, can't sell, no sell. Don't have any Cardinals. Wait. Don't have, oh, well, that's Nationals. I was like, wait a minute. I know better than that. I know I've got Cardinals. Oh, one Brave. Cody Hoyer, who I can't sell. I got five Reds. Mercedes Aquino. Justin Wilson. Wilson! which I'm actually actively collecting the Cardinals, so can't sell Frias, can't sell Wiedner, can't sell Weiss, don't want to sell Bryant, because I'm actually number 248 with the Parallel 2, so uh, I probably could sell Kimbrell, but I'm not going to, considering I've actually got him in a lineup that I know of. Uh, Lament, I still use. Brandon Belt, I mean, is in use. Alright, so. Sorry about that, just kind of. So, my name is Rob, thanks for coming and checking out the stream, I do appreciate it. I uh, hope y'all are having a good Thursday. And let's see here. Let's run back into one more game of mini seasons. And we'll finish this series with the cats. And then I'm probably gonna call it a call it a day. So we're three and oh at top of the top of the standings with the whales and the lemurs. So we won two against the pinheads and one against the cats, which we can see right there. So alright, so boom, go back in there. Try, because I know I've got Griffith Stadium open. Yes, I can pick whatever stadium I have open. So I don't have Laughing Mountain yet. To do Main Street Field, Riverboat. Oh, what the heck? Let's go to ship it. Well, it's April. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Fernando, you look marvelous. All right. What is this? What? No, this is not the lineup. What is going on here? I did not have George Brett in the game. I did Nick Gonzalez, what the flip is going on here? All right. This is not happening. All right, I'm going to call it a day here then because something screwy is going on with my lineups. Uh, well, it's been fun. I hope you all have a good day. Uh, like I said, my name's Rob. Thanks for coming and checking out the stream. You can check out past streams on my YouTube channel, 50 Plus KC Gaming. And you can follow me on Twitter, 50 Plus KC Gaming. And probably my next stream is scheduled for Saturday. 
Uh, generally, Saturdays are a little bit later, probably about 8 o'clock. But I will, uh, if you happen to come in, say hi. I will be glad to see you. Otherwise, have a good week. Have a good weekend, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.